Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, uh, after a very, very long time, I have uh, uh, come uh, for this uh, episode. Uh, and I want to discuss about, again, very confusing topic, but uh, it is uh, very important to clarify on these uh, terms, which are frequently used by many people. And nowadays, many motivational speakers, so-called Mahatmas, they are using these terms. But fundamentally, they don't seem to have any understanding or any experience. And they use these terms and they confuse the people ultimately. And ultimately, they confuse themselves also. They play with the emotions of the people, thereby they betray them and they betray themselves also. For instance, very frequently they use terms like Ishwar, Maya, Jeev, Prakriti and the whole creation inside the Prakriti. They don't seem to have any understanding of this, but they use these terms as if they know everything. Previously also, I had made two episodes on Maya, Prakriti and Jeev and one episode on Maya. Okay, Maya with the title Unreal Screen. If that episode is still available, you can watch that video. I have uh, shed some light on what actually Maya is. Now, obviously, uh, you must be wondering why I am commenting on those people like this. Do I have any experience? Do I have any understanding of all these things? I can say, whatever I am speaking, I am speaking on the basis of my real understanding and the real-time experience and understanding of Mr. B.R. Sharma, who is there along with me. So we both, whatever we are saying, we are saying on our real understanding on the subjects. Now in this series, I'll be making two episodes on the topic Ishwar, Prakriti, Jeev and the creation this whole creation and in the first episode we will try to explore into the Ishwar which in yogic science terminology we call it the state where there is no duality which is also called Advaita, the state of Advaita. Although it is not a state, but for the limitation of language, we can use these terms. Okay, the state of non-duality. That is the first state. First, not in the sense of counting first, second, third, okay. First means the origin of everything. Whatever we are observing, we are seeing, we are listening, okay, whatever are in front of us, okay, what is the origin of all this? So I'll be talking about that origin. You may call it Ishwar, 
you may call it the state of non duality advaita etc you can use any term you like so that is the origin of everything we can say only one thing about that state about that origin the about that origin that there is no the duality in that what is duality duality means a sense of two i am talking and you are listening why because there is duality i am over here and you are out there listening to me so there are two people i am speaking and you are listening even if i speak with nobody present without a person if i speak alone even then whenever i'll speak my ears will be listening will be hearing here also there is duality even if you start to think something before starting thinking there is a sense of duality otherwise you cannot even think so our whole existence is dual in nature there is duality in this existence without duality existence cannot simply exist we cannot conceive of any kind of existence without duality so in this episode i'll be talking about these two things one is the original state second when in that original state there arose a sense of duality sense of duality not that the original state which is non dual has become non dual has become dual sorry it is not like that but there arose a sense of duality in that non dual state the original state that original state we can call ishwar atma parmatma whatever name you can give it's all up to you because it is the matter of experience understand it is not the it is not you know the question of what word we are using because buddha has used different words to describe this original state lord mahavira he has used different term hindus they use different terms christians they use different terms so i would not like to go into the terms the language the words but i would like all of you to have the real understanding of the fact so the first state or the origin of everything is non dual now you must be thinking where does it reside we cannot say anything about the space and time okay where does it exist the origin but origin is the deepest state of our being the deepest state we can say at the most the deepest state that's all because in the origin where there is no duality there is no question of any sense of space or time where will it exist if there is no space and when will it exist if there is no time so at the most for the limitation of language we can say that it is the deepest layer of our own being the outermost layer you can say our body 
subtler than this body is your prawn subtler than than your prawn is your mind and subtler than mind is your intellect and subtler than your intellect is the prakriti and till prakriti there is duality and after prakriti there is that non dual state the advait that is the origin of everything the first state in yogic science we call it the first state the first principle this is our first principle now spontaneously not by using any effort any energy because who will be using it there is none there is the state of non duality so spontaneously we can say there arose the sense of duality and i said sense of duality mind it i am not saying the non dual state has converted into dual state no no non dual state remains as it is but in that there arises a sense of duality and when a sense of duality arises in non dual state on one hand there is the energy of pure consciousness and on the other hand there is the energy of matter primordial matter which is called prakriti now in non duality there arises the dual state dual state means on one side there is prakriti on the other side okay there is a being which is conscious conscious of prakriti in the first principle in the original state in the non dual state there is no sense of consciousness there is no consciousness but consciousness arises when there is a sense of duality in that non dual state because who will be conscious and who will be conscious of what but in the state of duality there is a being who is conscious of prakriti there are two states the state of duality on one side the conscious being on the other side the prakriti now from here the whole picture changes the creativity starts in its nascent form in its nascent state so i just explained the two state the two principles first principle the state of non duality second principle when there arose a state of duality in that state in the form of the conscious being the energy of consciousness and prakriti now further in prakriti how multiple jivatmas arises i'll take up this uh, topic in the next episode where after that we can understand we can have a clear picture how the whole creation is happening and then we will have clear understanding of everything we won't get confused what is a jivatma what is ishwar what is prakriti and so on so friends let me end this episode here see you in the next episode with the same topic but we will move to the second and third principles
of your business. Thank you very much.